Hey guys, it's Hannah. Welcome back to another video. So today's video, as the title says, will be the what's in my backpack after the school year is done. So I've been watching his videos before and I think they're so fun. So now that it's summer, kind of, you know, after school's ended, I thought, well, hey, why not make one of these videos myself? So, I had two backpacks, technically. Let me just sit better. <laughs> um, I had this big guy for my interior design classes, and it rolls. And then I had my normal backpack. Okay, so, we will start in my big interior design one, because, yeah. So, here that is, right next to me. You won't, probably won't be able to see it much. But, um, okay, so there's three pockets in here. In the first pocket we have, oh, that looks, oh, no, okay, let's just get on with it. Uh, we have my interior design book. It is called Interiors and Introduction 5th Edition. Is there anything in it? Yes. There's a magazine page inside of it from a project we did. <laughs> So what else is in here? Um, we have an umbrella because you always need one of those at school in case it starts to rain. I have a black one. I was actually looking for this. So I found it. <laughs> um, that, we'll just, yeah. um, okay, what else is in here? We have garbage. Yay. Little scraps of garbage. Yep. And what looks to be part of a keychain. Okay, awkward. Um, is there anything else in here? No, there doesn't appear to be anything else in here at the moment. So we'll close that one off just so I know we're done. Okay, so the second pocket, we have my other book. It, had a, it was spiral bound. It was called Drafting and Visual Presentation for Interior Designers. Yeah. <sighs> Okay, the next thing we have is paper. We had, oh, come back. We, we had um, little drafting papers. So this is that. Pretty boring. <laughs> but um, yeah. Okay, the next thing we have is my communications folder. <laughs> I took communications a while ago. Um, so I don't know why that's in my interior design folder. I mean, backpack, but it is. <laughs> okay, the next thing we have is my interior design notebook. It is, I am not going to go through all the stuff in here, but it looks like I have some quizzes and some projects we did in here. So that is going in the box. Oh, if I didn't say before, I have a box. Um, just so I don't have my stuff in this big backpack that takes up a lot of space. Okay, the next thing I have is a bunch of, again, a little scrap of paper and a bunch of flashcards that are written on. Okay, so those are also going in the box just in case I need them. I am a hoarder. So, next thing we have is more garbage. Fun. Okay, and here's some more paper. It kind of looks crumbly. But this is drafting paper we use, so it's still very good quality, so we'll just shove that in there. Next thing in this pocket appears to be a pen and some styrofoam stuff. I don't know, but a pen! Yay! <laughs> okay, now that is it for the second pocket. Now this pocket is where most of the stuff was. Let's get started on that. Okay, the first thing we have is not from this class, but I was using it and I just kind of shoved it in there because I remember it's palette paper because I was painting. And then the next things we have are, oh yeah, little stencils. So you use this for furniture and floor plans because it's easier instead of just drawing it out yourself. And it has the dimensions and everything on it. So we had a bigger one and a smaller one. And yeah, it really helped. So if you're in interior design, they might require you to have these like they required me. So, get these if you're in interior design. If you're an interior designer, you probably already have them and you know, but if you're a student, I don't know. 
Okay. Next few things we have are triangles for what the heck? Oh, garbage. <laughs> um, a professional triangle. So you did lines with these. Yeah, fun. Next thing we had was a brush to brush off our um, pencil shavings. I never used this once, I just used my hand. But it came in the kit that they sold, so there's that. Okay, the next thing I have in here, which is not opened, oh, it's another flash card that's actually garbage, um, is a French curve set. So we never learned how to use these, not in the first class I took. If I took more, we would probably learn. But, um, yeah, I don't know what these are used for, but it's, yeah, like I said, it's called the French Curve Set. It's probably for lines and stuff, you know. Okay, the next thing I have was, oh my gosh, this handy dandy ruler. So this ruler was like a saving grace to everyone. It was how we made floor plans. They have a 16, 16 inch something, 3 sixteenths, 3 32ths of an inch, one and a half inch, three eighths, three fourths, threes, one inch, one half of an inch, an eighth, and a fourth. That's what we mostly used was one fourth and one half of an inch. So this is a lifesaver. Put that back though. Okay, so we have more garbage that I'm gonna take out and later. Um, we have more pens. Hold on. Okay, so we have a pen and a pencil. That makes the count three. I'm shocked there's not more. Okay, the next items we have, oh yeah, are these drafting dots. You, if you had a drafting board, you would use these to place your paper down and it didn't like rip up the paper when you took it off. So that was really good for that. So yeah, if you want dots that don't rip up your paper, I suggest drafting dots. Mine are by the company Alvin. I don't know what that means. Yeah, these are little pins I had to use for, um, what was it? For our model of, it was a certain type of hard foam we had to use. Foam board, core, I don't, I don't know. And we had to use pins, and I ran out of the ones that came in the kit, so I had to use big ones. And yes, this is a baby food container. So. And apparently we have instructions for the Alvin stuff. What is this? This is also garbage. Is there anything else in here besides garbage? No, that's it. Okay, well that's it for my interior design bag. Let me just zip that up. And put that over there, and now we are going to go on to, you guessed it, my normal backpack. <laughs> so my normal backpack is a once upon a time backpack. I think I need a new one because it's ripping, but I love this one. I got it from Hot Topic, so the Hot Topic backpacks are pretty good. It's just I had a lot of heavy stuff in here because it's called Oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> okay, so, um... First thing I have in here is an old water bottle. Now, I don't think water expires, but they always have an expiration date on it. And that's, I heard it was for the plastic. You don't care. Okay. So the next few things I have are my notebook that has pineapples all over it. And it was used for my psychology class. I'm going to keep this out because there's still a lot of pages that can be used for my next course. Then I have my Hogwarts planner. So if you don't know, I love Harry Potter. Harry Potter's life. Harry Potter equals Bay. I regret saying that, but it's true. And it goes all the way up to pretty much today. June, the end of June. So I can't use this for my next course, but that is fine. It's fine. I loved it while it lasted. We'll put that in there because I saved everything. Um, this is my notebook. This I think I believe I used it for English. Yes, I did. For English 1510 was the course's name. 
also known as Composition 1. So I will also be using that again. And okay, the next thing I have is my binder, my very crappy binder that does not have a front anymore. So I think I'm done with this. This is for psychology again. Yeah, it's ripping everywhere, so... I think it's time to toss it. That was loud. Okay, um, the next thing I have are two folders. This one says Adventure, and it has a mountain. I thought it was cute. I got it, because it was cute. This was for psychology again. And it is all ripped at the sides like every notebook gets. <laughs> um, this one, it has trees, and it says Breathe because college is hard. <laughs> so this one was for my English class again. Okay, so the last thing, okay, so I have a pad, just in case anyone needed one or I needed one, you know. And then I have a ton of garbage. Well, okay, so I have three more um, writing utensils. I have two pencils and one more pen, that makes it six. And I have my, um, scantrons because yes in college you have to buy them unlike high school where they just give them to you you have to buy them i have to buy more because i'm running out and the rest looks like garbage yeah that's great ew oh my god ew there's a an unwrapped cough drop i really hope that's not used although it would have been used by me so I suppose that's why. Oh, look at this. Um, a whipped cream coupon. <laughs> because college is hard and you need sweets sometimes. But that's fine. What is this? More garbage and the keychain again. Okay, so that's it for the main pocket, I believe. So now we're going on to the smaller front one. Ugh. It's all dirty because I haven't used it in so long. My backpack. Ew. Okay, so the first <laughs> it's a first aid kit. A little one, just in case. Sorry, I'm really sweaty. That's why I keep playing with my hair. Um, it has Kleenex and gauze pads and band-aids because you don't know what can happen in college. A girl actually in my interior, not in my interior design class, but she's in the classroom across the hall. I guess one day she was using an X-Acto knife or something and she sliced her leg open really bad and had to go to the hospital. So let's hope she's okay. Um, yeah, so here are more flash cards for what I'm assuming is um, psychology. Yes, it is for psychology. If I need it in the future, <laughs> I have it. I really should not be keeping those. Okay, so I got these from Wish. They're little stick markers that peep out. They're little animals. I thought they were cute, so. Okay, the next thing I have are thumbs up sticky notes, because sometimes you just need a thumbs up in your life, because college is really, really hard. <laughs> Better than high school, at least in my opinion, but still really hard. Okay, I have some blank flashcards, which I am gonna keep out. I have some bobby pins. Don't know why. Oh my god. Time for the med okay no. Um I have more of those sticky notes that are thumbs up. Um I have other sticky notes that are small, blur, and more why do I have like ten erasers? I have two erasers, not ten. Sorry. So I have two erasers and more sticky notes, if you can guess. And I have a glue stick to fix all your problems. I have Advil because college gives you a headache. <laughs> and I have Orija in case college gives you a toothache. No, um, I have this because my wisdom teeth were bothering me one day and I just threw it in my backpack to take to school in case it started bothering me during class and I had to go out of the room and apply it. It did not help. Origel does not work on me, but it might work on other people. 
Well, it didn't work on my wisdom teeth. Not, don't use that after you get them out. That might not be good, but um, before I got them out, I used it. And then I have a hand sanitizer from Bath & Body Works called Mary Berry Kiss. Oh, it smells really good. It smells like berries. I don't know what else I was expecting. It's a small like. And I have a stray bobby pin. Okay, so that's all I have in my backpacks. So, there's some more garbage. Oh, now I have to sweep the floor. Smart move, Hannah. <laughs> 10 points for that. Okay, so that is it for what's in my backpack after the school year. And if you have a YouTube channel, you should make a video like this as well because I like watching them. But thank you guys so much for watching my video and I hope you have a magical day and a wonderful summer! Okay, bye!